Karen Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to make a super easy FTC disclosure using Gutenberg reusable blocks. And the reason why I want to show you how to do this is because I hear so many bloggers that are trying to find a plugin, that are trying to do, um, you know, just get that FTC disclosure. But when their developer hard codes it in, it winds up being the snippet or the, <laughs> the, you know, what shows up in Google or when you post a social media post, it shows up. And I would much rather have my introductory paragraph be the default um, because it's really keyworded. It's what I copy into my snippet and all that. So I want to show you how cool and easy it is to add the FTC disclosure into your blog post above your first affiliate link with Gutenberg. So we're going to come here and we're going to say, okay, um, so I just have, I, that's just the title of my blog post and I'm going to say intro goes here and I would probably have another paragraph of text because I talk a lot. Um, and then I want my FTC disclosure before anything else happens because I don't want to forget to add it. So let me show you how quick it is and then I'll show you how to add it to your site. So I would push forward slash and then see right here I already have it FTC disclosure one. Um, I'm going to push that and it just loads it in. And then there you go, Bob Trunkle. So normally I would just, like you can just add it super easily like that. And then it's done. It's got my link to my policies. It's got everything done, okay? So how do you do that? How do you do that amazing thing? Okay, so what we're gonna do is I actually have a second affiliate disclosure that I, um, so I've kind of a, that's a nice one. That's like a, I have one affiliate link and you know, if you want to see my policies, blah, 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 blah. But um, I also want to put in one that is like, I have affiliate links in here and I make money, right? So that's going to be my affiliate disclosure too. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to get a plugin. You need to get a plugin called Ultimate. I don't know the name of it. Ultimate Add-on Gutenberg or something like that. Ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. And I'll put a link for that where you can get it. And so you just install that like a normal plugin. And they have really nice Gutenberg blocks, which is awesome. All right. Once you have that in there, then you're going to go to settings. And then this is the ultimate add-on for Gutenberg. I knew it was UAG because I go to this thing all the time. And the difference about them is they let you see all of your reusable blocks in one place. Otherwise, there's not really a way to see them. So here is that, F, that's the first one I made. I was like, I can make an FTC disclosure. Um, so here's this. So if we wanted to change that, we would come here, we would make any changes, and then it would change it on every FTC disclosure, which is really cool. And I'll show you a little bit about that too. Okay, so, but let's go back. We're gonna go back to my disclosures and I wanna make a new disclosure, right? So I'm gonna say add new. And I have it on my, and this is going to be FTC Disclosure 2. And then I, um, I had this copied because I already use it. And it says, this post contains affiliate links. If you purchase anything, I earn a small commission at no extra charge to you. Thanks for your support. And then this is a lot like our recipes or our lists or whatever. We have to publish this block. So you can see. It's, we're not in a block. This is the block. We're going to say publish and I'm ready to publish. It's fine. Okay. So now if we go back to our settings, it'll be in our list of settings now, right? Usable blocks in our settings, FTC disclosure too. So now let's go back to our posts. And say I have my second paragraph of text. I hit return. Oops, I was in the middle of text. I get to the end of my text, I hit return, and that's gonna, like, that's prompting us that it, if we just start typing text, it's gonna be in the body text of our template, uh, of our theme. But if we want to do something else, all we do is forward slash, 
And now we're going to say FTC. And now we can see I could pick FTC Disclosure 2, right? All right. So that's awesome. That is just the coolest thing ever. But what if the FTC changes what they want us to do, which they do every 15 minutes? So say they, they, they tell me that I have to have in all my disclosures a link to my policies, right? Um, so normally before, either you would have it hard-coded or you would do, um, you would have to, you know, do something. But now, any post that has FTC disclosure in, if we go back to settings, back to UAG, okay, and then we go to our reusable blocks, and we go to our FTC disclosure too, and we would say, check out my policies here. Okay, I like it italic. We're going to make a link. We're going to paste that there. We're going to say open it in a new tab. And then we're going to update this block. We're just updating that one block, right? And so now if we go back to that post, it will change it everywhere that I have put that disclosure in. So even if I'm using two different FTC disclosures, on every post that I use, um, and you can go back and I have other videos about what to do if you have a big old blog. You don't want to go back and change everything you own. Um, but if you're adding this in, the nice thing about these reusable blocks is if you go into the, um, the settings and change them, it will change them across all the blocks on your site. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.